beautiful people welcome to my channel once again my name is chet girl if you are new to this channel welcome and thank you for joining me we are still on our journey of taking charge of our own health and please if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe right below and also give your girl a thumbs up to give me some encouragement today i have something special for the men if you're a lady and you find yourself here i know you are going to need this one way or the other someday okay so please watch this uh, so that you can help your man when he needs it uh, i call this power your manhood combo okay power your manhood combo uh this tackles those who have poor um erector problems okay they they cannot get their manhood up okay those who have serious erector problems it doesn't function as it's supposed to be okay and uh ed that is uh, erector dysfunction okay and i also have something to help with the men to get it the, the length okay to get the length if you want to get it long i have done a video on that how to enlarge your manhood naturally i have done a video on that and people have i have testimonies some people do come to my my back door on whatsapp to give me those testimonies please share on youtube so that other it will encourage others to also know that it does work it does work if you are consistent with it okay it does really work uh so how to get it long and there are some people who have the length, but they don't have the gut. I hope I'm saying it right, the gut, which is the thickness of it is very skinny. They want to get it thick. It, it tackles that as well too. Those who have it small, they want to get it long, it gets long. And also, there is something that I want to share with you. If I have a shoulder pain, okay, I'm using a demonstration, I'm demonstrating. If I have a shoulder pain and I'm trying to lift my arm up, I won't be able to do it that, okay? Because I may I have inflammation here. I may have poor blood circulation, but the muscles might be weak for me to lift it up, okay? But if I take care of all those things, it's easy for me to lift my arm up. The same thing with your manhood. There are some people who have the length. They have the big, the size is good, but they can't lift it up, okay? Or they lift it up, it cannot stay up for a long time. And it's very disturbing because it's your pride. It's, it, 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 that is a man's pride. Just like a, a woman have other things to be, we we'll call it our pride, but that is a man's pride. And we have to take care of it so if you have phlegms in your waist if you have all this pain around your waist if you have a pot belly one thing with pot belly those who have big big belly okay there are some men who look like they are six months pregnant no offense to you it's drinks all this carbonated drinks beer and here that is what sugar too much refined sugars that is what contribute to that you want to get rid of that pot belly because if your belly gets big just like a woman when a woman have big belly and uh, not just gain weight, but if you have your belly, even if you have weight and your belly is small, you can see the woman shape. But once your belly gets big, the butt becomes small and flat. The same thing with men. When you when you get pot belly, it help uh, your 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 man who begin to shrink. It begins to retreat inside. Okay, it begins to retreat. It start folding inside, so it become very small. It, it it will become really small. You need to get rid of that. You need to get rid of parasites. Okay, because parasites will deplete your body of the good nutrient that your body needs. This one fruit will take care of that. And also, one important thing is that it makes your manhood strong. Because once you take care of all these things, it helps with the proper blood flow. It helps to stand for you to be able to perform to regain your, uh, your confidence back. So please, I'm shooting by myself today. Please stay tuned. It's a little bit sunny here in my backyard. I try to take advantage of it. I'm going to show you the ingredients and talk to you about exactly what to do. Very simple. Wherever you are, you can get it. Wherever you are, you can get it. So please stay tuned. Hi, church family. Uh, we are back again, okay? Uh, I wanted to say something. If you are doing these remedies, please, if you want to see the, if you want to see uh, fast results, if you are home, okay? A man, I'm talking to the men. Don't wear your underwear, your tight pants. No, you have to let your manhood um, fall easily, okay? Let it hang loosely it, it provides good circulation proper air circulation around there so that you prevent fungal infections here and there and also keep it smelling good at the same time gravity is going to help it if you watch uh videos of other countries like africa in africa where we specialize in uh, uh making your manhood big you know in most african countries they do that as an initiation they don't wear underwears and that is what helps it because you have to let gravity helps it okay so stop wearing all those tight underwears if you are going outside it's good okay also uh, have frequent intercourse with your partner okay 
so that you, you you are exercising it you are doing it you are stretching it but you are also not every day not every day but you know what i mean some people they don't even have anybody and they want to enlarge your penis you can do that as well too but once you be able to stretch it bring the circulation inside from time to time it's almost like you are pumping it it's like you are giving yourself like a bicep or something you are pumping the muscles down there too so let's get to it very simple this is green papaya okay you see how the green it is in other countries it's known as papaw but we call it green papaya okay if you get a green papaya wash it very nicely just like this wash it very nicely if you can add a little bit of lemon to the water and wash it that is fine but just pure water is good just just water only water is good so when you get it wash it like i said don't peel it don't take the green part of it and don't take the seeds out that is why i said get green papaya some people will say can i get ripe papaya please not ripe papaya you want green papaya when banana uh, when papaya ripe ripens okay the seeds are dark and it's very very peppery it's almost like black pepper okay you don't want that that will irritate your your stomach linings and, and that will uh, go, that is going to make you be throwing up and here and there it's not good okay you can take that small amount of it and, and take it for intestinal worms but you cannot be blending the whole thing so this you chop it okay don't remove the seed you chop it small small put it inside uh your blender and blend it okay if you blend it you blend it smooth you can strain it okay you can choose to strain it you can choose to drink the fiber that is fine also uh, even if you strain it you're still gonna get some fiber in it which is very good for you if you you can blend it really fine and drink the whole thing you can add ginger to it please if you add ginger to it anytime you add spice like ginger to your uh, to your mom power drinks and things like that it helps with that because you need that that uh, Pepe, that that's hot hotness to give you it helps the circulation as well so you can add ginger to it you can squeeze a little bit of lemon to it to improve the taste it's not added to it but you can use it to improve the taste if if it's too bitter for you there are some people who are not used to drinking natural medicine if it's too bitter for you what you do is when you cut this papaya into two you're gonna have two halves okay one of the half remove the seed and throw it away and leave the other seed in the other one okay and cut all of them and blend it and also use it it's going to help you but i hope you can uh, blend the whole thing okay the seeds are not that black okay they are kind of whitish a little bit soft they are not peppery like uh the ripe ones so when you drink it one cup in the morning as i blended here one cup in the morning one cup in the evening okay very good for you in the morning please try to drink it on an empty stomach on an empty stomach okay an hour an hour before you eat you can you can blend the whole thing strain it you can choose to strain it like i said before you can strain it or you can leave the pulp inside to give you the good fiber even if you strain it you're still gonna have some fiber inside okay it's still gonna be fine fibers inside that is still gonna help you so some people want to get the maximum fiber they can do it without taking without straining it keep it in the fridge when you keep it in the fridge uh this is something you can keep it in the fridge for like a week and it won't go back it won't go bad okay just keep in the fridge a glass in the morning a glass in the evening a glass in the morning a glass in the evening it will help you to get rid of all those pot bellies all those clock intestines that you have it will get rid of everything for you okay so please make use of it the second one that i have here this is fenugreek fenugreek seeds see fenugreek seed the name is on the screen fenugreek fenugreek seeds you are going to grind it so fine very fine get it in don't add water to it get it into powder store it in a container and keep it what you do is i have some here that i have grind so fine let me move this aside and let me show you if you put it here i'm going to show you how to massage uh your, your 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 penis because some people have been asking me do i have to pull it you don't pull anything okay you don't want to tear nothing so you either use vaseline okay everybody can get vaseline or you use shea butter shea butter ma is the uh the yellow kind you can get a white can it doesn't matter pure natural shea butter okay so you need something like that either you use vaseline or you use this so let's say let me use the vaseline here and let me put this aside let's say you get some okay mix mix it up with it you can also pre-mix this. You don't have to be doing it every day. You can pre-mix this. Okay, so let's say this is your genital, okay, your manhood. 
and you want to massage it okay you don't pull anything some people will be going like as if you want to pull one time you're gonna tear you're gonna create some kind of inflammations and things like that that is not good you rub it all over like i'm showing you you rub it all over okay you rub it all over first and with your with, with your hand though you are not pulling but you are doing this it's almost like you are stroking it even your lady can do it for you for fun okay you just stroke it a little bit you stroke it downwards please not upwards downwards okay you stroke it little by little okay it's almost like you're massaging it so it's almost like you're playing something so if you want to get how you're going to you can do with cooking ball or something to see how you are going to do it it doesn't hurt please it doesn't hurt if you are pulling anything and you are hurting you are hurting yourself no you are not masturbating you are just stroking it a little bit okay so once you stroke it a little bit just for a few few uh, maybe like a minute or so and you just leave it on and let it dry you go to bed you do it you can do it in the morning and you can do it in the evening too you morning and evening morning and evening if you are going to work and you think like you can't do it in the morning you can just use just only vaseline a little bit or just the shea butter a little bit instead of massaging instead of if you don't want the feel of having the grain of uh the fenugreek you just use a little bit and it just uh, vaseline a little bit and you massage it down there it's almost like you know you are lotioning it a little bit and you go to work when you come in the evening when you do the fenugreek you leave it because this is what is going to give you the girth it's going to help you get the size that you want okay if you want to get it thick if you want to get it long if you you know whichever way you want to do it fenugreek is going to help you with that if you want to just increase the girth what you do is when you rub it when you rub it okay when you put it around it because you have the length you are not going to be stroking it down because you already have the length just do it circular motion like this okay circular motion like this circular motion like this just to help with the blood flow circular motion like this okay you don't do it this way unless you want to get it long then you do it this way but if you want to get a girth you just rub it there okay so once again my name is church girl please if don't forget to subscribe right below if you are new and also give your girl a thumbs up uh, if you have any question please don't forget to leave your comments right below thank you and have a great day bye bye